Hope everybody's here. Thank you all for coming. I don't have a way with words. Um, like I've said on social media and I said earlier, this is beyond amazing. I wasn't expecting this kind of outreach, but being a small community that we are, it impacted every one of us. And I'm glad it could bring us all together. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Blake Waddell, he's gonna lead us all in prayer. So if you have candles, you go ahead and light them if you haven't already. And when he's done with prayer, we'll release the balloons. Father God, we just wanna come before you right now. God, in this time of tragedy, this small community has been affected in such a way, God. And I just pray right now that you will just bring strength to this family. I pray, God, that you'll bring peace in this community. God, as we have gathered here right now, we're all hurting. But we know, God, that your word says that you are near to the brokenhearted. And God, we just lift this family up to you right now, God, because only you can give them that strength, God. God, we can surround them as a community and we can love on them. God, but at the end of the day, you're the only one that can give them the strength and the peace that they need. So we just lift them up to you right now as we remember this young angel that has been ascended into your arms. God, we know that you're holding her right now. You're watching over her and she's smiling, looking in your face. So as we uh, just remember her today, God, we just uh, give her over to you, give this family over to you. And we just ask God, right now, God, for your comfort. And we just honor you, we glorify you, and we praise your holy name. Amen. Amen. I mean, just to see this right here was a warm feeling to me. I lost a lot. Like I said, I mean, I lost more than a granddaughter. I lost a hero. She brought me back for more. I called her from over there. She was in Afghanistan. And everything be bad. I mean, the worst day, we, we lost some guys over there. I'd get on that phone, that little girl, man, she brought me back up. And she always had a smile on her face. She said, no, now I can't. And she was telling her Aunt Case, KK the other day about she's going to get a white Jeep when she gets older. She said, how are you going to do that? She said, I was going to buy it for you. You know that? I mean, I just don't know what, I mean, she meant so much. And I hope other people have gone through what we're going through. I hope, you know, we all can learn something about the people we are children around. We didn't learn nothing then, but we might learn something now that we can tell people. You know, so, and, you know the signs we didn't see. We didn't see it. But now, we, what we did see now, we can, we can share it. And maybe we save another kid's life or a girl's life. I mean, whatever it takes. I mean, I know he ain't going to hurt another girl. I mean, I know that for a fact. You know, God's going to take care of him. I just wish he wouldn't cut mine. I mean, I really wish he wouldn't. 